Is a foldable solar panel something that you need to convert your power station into an off-grid portable solar generator? In today's video, we're going to look at the Aguai 120 watt monocrystalline foldable solar panel. The team at Aguai sent me this solar panel free of charge to test and give them my unbiased feedback with my experience. This foldable solar panel arrives with all of its accessories stowed neatly in its storage pouch. The included 10-in-1 DC adapter kit can help pair this solar panel with almost any power station on the market. The DC to DC cable made it to any of the included adapters will help complete your charging setup. The DC to Anderson power pole cable will help you attach this to the Aguai 400 watt portable power station. The exterior of the Aguai 120 is constructed of a Cordura type material with a high quality stitching. Two side release buckles hold the panel securely closed while carrying it around. To place the solar panel into operation, simply unfold it and attach it to your compatible device. Popping out the kickstands and angling your solar panel towards the sun can increase your absorbed sunlight by up to 25%. I found one minor complaint during testing which is that this protective film is unnecessary and should be removed before the panels are stitched in. This is just a minor inconvenience with an otherwise high quality foldable solar panel. For testing, I will pair the Aguai 120 watt foldable solar panel to the Aguai 400 watt portable power station and another power station that I have tested before. The Aguai 400 is rated to accept up to 60 watts of solar power, has a 45 watt USB-C power delivery outlet, several USB-A outlets, an array of 12 volt DC outlets, and a 300 watt AC inverter. For the first test, I chose a sunny day to ensure that I would be able to get as much sun as possible, and the solar panel performed as designed. As tested, the solar panel is easily able to max out this power station's rated 60 watt input. The Aguai 120 monocrystalline panels are constructed of ethylene tetrafluoroethylene increasing their ability to shed unwanted debris, stay clean and free of scratches, and achieve a conversion efficiency of almost 23%. Most solar panels have a conversion efficiency of only 20%, and this allows this panel to provide more power relative to its surface area. For my second test, I wanted to see how the panel performed as the sun began to set. Available sunlight diminishes quickly late in the afternoon and I expected to get almost no power from the panel at this time. Even under these diminished lighting conditions, the Aguai 120 was able to generate almost 30 watts. This is likely only possible because I was able to angle the panel into the sun using the kickstands. Next I tested another 100 watt solar panel to see if I could produce a comparable amount of power. Unfortunately, the other solar panel was only able to push out about 14 watts even when I attempted to angle it into the sun. This solar panel does not have kickstands included. Check out the Amazon affiliate link in the description to see the current price of the Aguai 120. But at the time of this video, the cost to feature ratio of this solar panel is hard to match. It is priced lower than its competition and puts out more power. Overall, many of the solar power brands you have heard of are as a result of good advertising. From years of testing, I have seen a trend that many of these products perform as stated. Occasionally, there are some that do not live up their expectations, but after three months of use with the Aguai foldable solar panel and portable power station, they are still working as expected. Additionally, these products are continuously improved as new versions are released. So here's my question to you. What is a feature that you want to see in a foldable solar panel that will improve its utility? Leave a comment below. Gently tap that thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss my next video. This foldable panel puts out about 19 volts, so if you plan to charge a 12 volt car battery, you will need a charge controller. You can, however, attach small devices to the USB ports inside of the accessory pouch. Watch this video next to learn about the Aguai 400 watt portable power station.